What do we have here? It is a double barrel pistol knife. Very unique. I and mean, do you carry this on a regular basis? Every lady should have one. <laughs> I'm here because I want to sell my knife pistol today that I thought Rick might really like. I inherited this knife pistol gun, and it's just not something I'm into. I'd like to make room for other girly things. For the knife pistol, I'd like to get at least $1,500 today. If I'm able to make a sale today, I am getting new purses, jewelry, and bags. I've never seen anything like this. So do you know anything about it? You know, the maker, anything like that? No, don't know anything about that. Don't have any paperwork. My late uncle, he got it from an auction. He was just pretty fond of weapons. Don't know if it shoots. I'm assuming those are the triggers? Correct, if you pull the hammer back, the trigger comes out the bottom. OK, look at that. That's amazing. This was after 1830, I would assume, because it's got percussion caps on it, and definitely before 1870 when those things were completely gone. I don't know if this would have been a novelty or if it was actually practical in some situations, but I think it's cool. Weird guns like this were real popular back in the day. I mean, I've seen shotguns with spring-out blades on them and, and right. other various weird things like that, and they kind of had a purpose because you fire it once, it's a whole process to reload this right. thing. Just imagine you're a swashbuckling pirate, OK? You can go bang, bang. Double barrel. And then you can do the sword fighting thing, Correct. I guess. I guess that's what it was for. <laughs> um, I can see that. Beyond that, I ha I do not have a clue. How much you want for it? I'm looking to get 1500 It's probably a reasonable number. Do you mind if I call a buddy up? My buddy Alex, this is what he does. He does old, weird guns. But there's a possibility this could even stump him. And I would love for that to happen, actually. But let me give him a call, uh, get him down here. So give me like five minutes, OK? OK, great. Thank you. Thanks. Arr, it's Alex. Hey, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to stand back here. How you doing? Great. I'm Alex. Hi, Cynthia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm convinced this was owned by a pirate. Do you know anything about this? I mean, the pirate thing, I think, is not related. <laughs> so look, <laughs> if it was pirate, I think it would probably be flintlock, not percussion. I, I'm, I'm just, you know, but it is neat. So in 1840, a French gunmaker named Dumontier patented that design, almost exactly. So is it Mark? Do you know? Not that I'm aware of. I think I saw something on the barrel or the side somewhere. OK, hold on one second. You're getting older like me. <laughs> oh, Here we go. Perfect. Actually, it does help. Oh, that on the barrel might be a marking, but here's a marking I do recognize. That is a proof mark for Liège, which is a city in Belgium. It was a huge gun-making city. It does not mean, actually, that it's not French. It just means it went through Belgium, perhaps, to be sold. Now, Dumontier was best known for making this exact type of pistol. Patented in 1840, but he worked all the way to the end of the 19th century. So it's very likely his. And if it's not, it's a Belgian copy of the period. I'm just going to use these. Sure. Uh, I'm assuming these are hammers. Correct. Oh, yeah. OK. We call this part of the handguard the quillion. So the quillions are actually hammers. And that was actually a pretty ingenious design. And that was one of the main focuses of his patent. It is collectible. There is good value in it. It's not in the best condition, but it's still in decent condition. There's nothing I see that would make it not perform. But in order to know that it would perform, I have to actually inspect the inside of the barrel. Are you willing to go shoot it with us? No, not at this time. I, I just would really like to sell it and have it out of my closet. OK. So I'm just going to give you a price that says maybe it'll fire, maybe it won't. OK. $3,000. All right. If I get it, I will let you know. Please do. OK. Nice to meet you. Good nice luck. Nice to meet you. Thank you. OK. I know you're asking $1,500. I'll give you like $1,600 bucks for it. $2,800? Yeah, I'm just telling you, with things like this, the majority of the time, there is a problem. I'll tell you what, I'll give you two grand. 2,000? Deal. All right, we got a deal? Yes. I'll meet you right over there and I'll get you paid. Hold on, you bought a gun knife? Actually, it's a knife gun. All right. Yeah, because the knife is a lot bigger than the gun, so I think it should be called a, a knife gun, not a gun knife. I agree. It's your world, man. Yeah, so I paid $2,000 for it, and we're going to test it. Yeah, so I went through it. I measured the caliber. It's about a 40 cal. 
I brought some projectiles and some black powder supplies, and the chambers and the barrels looked solid, so I think there will be no problem in shooting. Okay, so real quick though, how do we get from gun knife or knife gun or whatever to American flag patriotic cakes? So I figured that since it is a knife, I wanted to show you that it could cut, <laughs> so it's still sharp. And so I chose the cakes, this one and, and two more as targets, and I know that it also is a layered cake, kind of like a wedding cake. And I think, Rick, you've been divorced three times? Something like that. So yeah. each cake represents an ex-wife and your freedom. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good, right? I think this is absolutely brilliant. What size piece do you guys want? Big, little? Give me a little one. Yeah, a little, yeah. Oh, that looks like lawyer's fees. <laughs> That knife worked perfectly for its age. Well, I can't wait to see how it fires. Yeah, the knife's good, so hopefully the guns are good. All right, so we're gonna load this thing up? Yeah, let's do it. Eyes and ears, everybody. All right. We ready to go? Yes. That was an amazing deal at $2,000. It was a good deal at $2,000. I think based on how it performed, you get at least $4,000 for it. That's amazing. I guess we gotta go clean up cake though now. Well, I put a plastic sheet down, but it looked like it went past that, so. You think there's yeah. any good cake up there? I doubt it. All right, let's go clean this up. All, All right. right, I'll see you in the truck. Thanks, son. I mean, it's kind of a waste of good cake though. There is nothing left. Ha, 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 ha.